Skyforge announces a brand new massive update. Could League of Legends reign be nearing an end? All that and more. I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, for those of you still playing Funcom's brutal MMORPG Age of Conan, you may be happy to hear that updates have been introduced to the game's monetization system. In fact, not only will premium membership owners be getting constant perks for the longer that they are subscribed, but those utilizing the free-to-play model will see sizable changes as well. What are those changes though? Well, players will no longer need to keep buying passes or pay for the membership in order to access content from expansions they've already purchased. This includes raids, unchained dungeons, or playfields. However, you'll still need the expansions themselves, which is it's pretty obvious. In the 5.0 update that is now live, you'll get a chance to try out the new raid finder, challenges, daily rewards, and a whole lot more. Will these changes make you hop back into Conan? Leave me a comment down below. Allot's free-to-play MMORPG Skyforge is turning one year old soon and the development team is ready to celebrate this feat. In honor of the game's birthday, players will be able to participate in a special event which will kick off on July 13th. In addition to this event, the Allot's team has announced a brand new update called Battle of Equals which will arrive on July 20th and brings forth a good bit of new content. Featured in said content update is new improvements that will give new ways to expand your power and progress your character, a new region which is a barren desert filled with giant worms and a unique progression method compared to other regions, plus an equalized PvP tournament which will even the playing field and see who is truly the best of the best. Personally, I feel like I played Skyforge just yesterday. Man, how time flies. Speaking of flying, those of you looking for a brand new MMO to play may be happy to hear that the flying mount combat oriented MMORPG Riders of Icarus is kicking off its open beta very, very soon. If you have a Founders Pack, it has already kicked off for you, but if you're holding off until the floodgates open, you'll have to only wait until July 6th. If you don't already know what Riders of Icarus is, it's a standard theme park MMO with a variety of extras which will allow you to tame beasts you see in the wild and even tame flying beasts which will allow you to take to the skies with the game's mounted combat system. It's basically Pokemon the MMO, and if you wish to know more, be sure to check out our own Mike Byrne aka Magic Man's first look that is live on the channel. Every King's Reign comes to an end eventually, and in Korea that may be the case for the very popular free-to-play MOBA League of Legends. Yes, you guys heard me correctly, League of Legends may be getting dethroned soon, or people are just on vacation and intrigued by the new kid on the block. That new kid on the block, of course, is Overwatch, and an analyst at a Korean investment firm, KDB, recently released graphs showing League of Legends having a massive decline in concurrent players who battle in very popular PC gaming cafes. And, of course, that means a big rise in those playing Overwatch, because it just released. Now, I'll mention this once again, this is only in Korea and only tracked via PC gaming cafes. However, those cafes are extremely popular in Korea, due Due to their cheap prices and atmosphere, so they are a fair way to track general activity amongst players. Another interesting thing coming from this report is once Overwatch launched, NCSoft titles which are also extremely popular in Korea hardly saw a dip in activity. As I mentioned in the beginning, every king's reign comes to an end eventually, but is it League of Legends end or just players taking a break? It's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I pulled you guys on if you wish the question of the week to stay or go. Out of those who replied, which there was a lot of you, the majority sided with the question of the week remaining instead of quexiting. Sorry, I, I just had to. That said, as the weeks go on in July, I will be utilizing some of your guys' feedback pertaining to this segment and hopefully produce an even better show for you all. Time for this week's question. As always, if you wish to see your comment possibly featured in next week's show, be sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, do you think League of Legends has been dethroned for the long term, or will Overwatch's reign only be temporary in Korea? Personally, I'm thinking this is a short term thing, but considering how long League has been out, a switch wouldn't really be that surprising. For our last news story of the week, and Mass Entertainment announced that the next major update for its free-to-play action combat MMORPG will go live on July 7th. 
Yep, the update of course is called Aces Wild and is the follow up to the Secrets and Shadows update that you guys saw not too long ago. What will be included though? Well, players can expect a brand new 5 player dungeon and new challenges in the Bosch Rush dungeon Dreadspire. There will also be a new Ace system that gives players a chance to attempt solo dungeons with escalating objectives and also included in this update is a new 10 vs 10 PvP Battleground expanded flight zones which will allow players to explore more freely and storage for cosmetic gear. That's a fairly big update which is certainly the norm with Terra. You know it is also big this week, giveaways of course, yes be sure to head on over to MMOBomb.com, check out that giveaways page which currently has a massive, and I mean massive, Adventure Quest 3D giveaway going. Follow the instructions once you get your key and definitely double check those instructions because some people have been having issues and have a blast checking out the game. As for myself, be sure to follow me on Twitter by following the link down below, but as always, I'm Zach Sharps and I'll catch you guys next time.